Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul and guys we got a nice amount of books this week and we got a really nice extra but before we get into any of that really quickly huge apology that the world's finest review show uh, episodes or reviews were late this week and I don't know if any of you guys noticed but I stopped saying series and I'm starting to call it show it is a series I understand that but in the intros for me it sounds better to say world's finest review show because it is a show it's just a show that is also a series, so bear with me on the intros for the comic reviews. Also, this whole video is late. There's a reason for that. The reason the World's Finest Review Show episodes were late, we made sure to get episode 100 of the Indie Review out on time because it's the 100th episode. It was a big deal for us, and it was also the final episode of the Indie Reviews. Now, the Indie Books will be joining the World's Finest Review Show, and all comic books from this moment on starting with this week's books, will be under the world's finest banner. From now on, everything will be either group reviews or solo reviews on this channel. There will be no shows except the recap, which you guys will be seeing this Tuesday. The first episode will be there, but it'll be recap week you know, 306. The intro to week 306 will follow this video uh, directly. I'll probably be posting these both at the same time, both the videos at the same time. Uh, the reason that the reviews for last week were late were uh, because I was working on something. I mentioned this on Twitter. I'm working on a project. I mentioned you guys would be seeing it in October. <clears throat> that date might be a little bit off. Might be a little bit later. But bear with me, guys. You guys are going to really like this uh, when it comes out. Um, I can guarantee you guys that hopefully what I worked on this weekend will be out before the end of 2015. And it will be continuing <clears throat> into 2016. As always... Lots of stuff going on behind the scenes. I'm working on uh, some series that will be coming out soon that I announced on 300. Some series I didn't announce at all and they're going to be complete surprises like the Walking Dead series. Uh, I am working on uh, other sites, other networking sites. So this way um, the Dark Avenger brand is going to be expanding and showing up on different in different places. Help really um, <clears throat> branch out again, let's put it that way. Um, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm really sitting here trying to really morph this channel into what I originally envisioned for this channel and to really evolve into something bigger, better, something that will entertain all you guys and keep you guys well informed with comic books as well. Look forward to lots of updates on here, on uh, Blogger especially, you're going to be seeing some new stuff. And I'm also working on some other things and as they come up, I'll make an announcement video or something for those specific um, <clears throat> things or specific events etc etc look forward to it all look forward to lots of things there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes and you guys are going to love it as it comes out I'm having a lot of fun with the new stuff we're doing now there's gonna be even more stuff so if you haven't already please tell your friends tell your family tell your neighbors tell everybody you know that likes comic books video games or any of the stuff you guys know I like to do let them know about this channel help grow this channel again because this channel really is going to explode with content very very soon if not it's already started so the books this week the first thing I wanted to talk about and this I noticed in the pre-order list uh, this week um, at Midtown uh, there's a freebie in your comic shops uh, this past Wednesday and that is the Genesis 10 first issue preview book and this comes out of doubletakeuniverse.com here's the link right here I noticed these books, uh, you guys know I pre-order my books a week in advance, and uh, as I was going down the indie books, because that's what these are categorized as, uh, I noticed all of these number ones. Uh, they look really cool, and in this book you get a little bit of a uh, preview on the artwork that's in the books, the books that are coming out, the first, actually they show you like the first three issues, um, <clears throat> the first three covers at least, and then there also is a collector's pack, uh, The it's called the Hundy. Uh, it includes display case with ten uh, super, basically the first ten number ones. All of this is coming out next week on September 16th. And I gotta admit, I did look through this, and you guys know, I really don't push a lot of stuff. I really don't really promote a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to the freebie books. I just mentioned what's in it. But I will admit, uh, I think you guys, especially if you're into something different, something outside the big two, I would definitely recommend you guys... Pick this freebie up and really look through it and see if there's some books that might interest you. Because I'm being honest, I looked through this book and there are a lot of books uh, that really have some nice artwork in it or some interesting stories. 
So uh, if you get the chance, definitely um, give this um, a look. It's Double Take Genesis First Issue Preview, and it's free. Uh, also, you can check it out at facebook.com backslash Double Take Comics, uh, at Double Take Comics New York City. Really? New York City, NYC. Well, I'll be sharing the link to this below. If you didn't get the freebie and you'd like to check out the website, I'll be putting the DoubleTakeUniverse.com link in the description below. But these books look really interesting, and I would highly recommend checking out all the number. Well, not all the number ones, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, uh, money. But I would definitely say check them out in your local comic shop and definitely check out the previews. That'll help you guys out with determining which books are for you and which books aren't for you. Or just get the display case like they were um, showing at the back of the book. I don't know. It's something I, I talked to Mike about briefly this week, but um, we'll see where things go here. All right. Now we've got Star Wars Shattered Empire. This is the Journey to Star Wars Force Awakening, issue number one. This cover is amazing, and uh, I'm looking forward to the new movie that's coming out for Star Wars. Those of you know that know me know I love Star Wars, so I can't wait for the next movie. And this basically bridges the gap between episode six and episode seven. Batman issue 44, five dollars. Now, I'm slowly catching up on Batman. I'm going to be doing a now four issue review of Batman 44 all the way back to 40, uh, <clears throat> issue 40. Uh, but I will catch up on Batman and I will um, continue to move forward. Uh, I did sneak a peek at 43. Looks really interesting. This book does not continue the present. It goes back in time a bit and gives you the origin of Mr. Bloom. So... I did skim the book already. Uh, the artwork's okay. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait to read the actual story. <clears throat> Star Trek Green Lantern, and this is issue number... I think it's three. Three. Three of six. So we're halfway through the series. Loving the subscription covers for this book. Really uh, enjoying this crossover between IDW and Green Lantern. Got A-Force, issue number four. One more issue to go for A-Force. Really, I'm loving the series, and I'm glad it was recommended to me, and I picked up the first issue signed. Um, I can't wait for when the Marvel Universe goes back to normal um, to pick up the actual A-Force book. <clears throat> Civil War, issue number four. Uh, one more issue to go for Civil War, and then we'll be seeing the end of that. I've been enjoying Civil War for what it's worth. Um, I know a lot of people aren't, but... I, I don't know, I, I guess I just, I don't know, I remember reading Civil War when it came out, and it was a really interesting series, and the ending was real, real shocker also, where they killed Captain America, so, um, I guess that's why I'm really just hanging on to the miniseries, I'm just enjoying it, for what it's worth. We got Robin Hood, issue number 14, one of Mike's favorite books, each and every week, love Patrick Chan's writing. Got The Walking Dead, issue number 146. <clears throat> Planet Hulk, issue number five. This is the grand finale to Planet Hulk. What will we find out in this issue, I wonder? Series has been really good. And after the end of the last issue, I can't wait to see how this concludes. Unfortunately, the end of Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows is here. Issue number five. This is the grand finale. I'm going to be sad to see this go because it's nice to have MJ and Pete together. And now the rumors are MJ is going to be working for Tony Stark. Uh, uh, that's all I can say. Got Batman Superman 24, as well as Action Comics 44. This month's covers uh, connect. So these are the first two. I don't know if it's showing up good on camera, but they do connect. And then all the other Superman books continue the picture. Uh, the picture they gave on these comics covers, though, are different than the pictures they gave on, um, maybe it was different issues, I'm not sure, but the pictures seem a little bit different to me. I, I have to go back and check out my pre-order again to make double sure, but I believe they're using a different uh, connecting picture. Secret Wars 2099, issue number 5, grand finale here for Secret Wars. Got Ninjak, issue number 7. Sonic the Hedgehog, 276. Sonic is moving forward. 
And I believe from this point on, and I'm going to check to make sure, because I believe I, when I reviewed the Ultimate Collection, that's where this story uh, started. I'm going to see now, and it almost 100% looks like uh, where... Yeah. This is where the um, Ultimate Collection started, so... Awesome stuff here with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Color Classics Volume 3, Issue Number 9. City at War is continuing. I believe this is Part 7 of 13. So, if you're into the colored classics, if you didn't get the Ultimate Collection, check out the color classics. You get it not only in color, but you get that classic um, series. Got Starfire, Issue Number 4. Mike's been loving that. Along with her partners, or ex-partners, Red Hood and Arsenal, Issue Number 4. And then finally, we have Darth Vader, issue number nine. Darth Vader will be uh, really crossing over with Star Wars uh, in the next two months. So I'm looking forward to that. The extra this week is a game that came out um, last week, and we decided to grab the collector's edition. Metal Gear Solid 5. This is the Steelbook collector's case. It comes with a map. It comes with in-game DLC, comes with a replica of Snake's hand, and it also comes with a DVD, which I took out of the steel case and I put the DVD in the original casing for the game, and I put that away already, so I unfortunately don't have that, but I decided to have the game in the uh, steel case, so... I am a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Since Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation, um... I follow the series from Metal Gear. I purposely got the uh, PlayStation 2 the year Metal Gear Solid 2 came out, which I believe it was the same year. It just came out a couple of months after PlayStation 2 came out. Uh, I made sure to follow. Unfortunately, the other Metal Gear Solid games I followed a little bit later, but that's because a lot of the Metal Gear Solid games, except for um, Old Man Snake, I forgot what number was it. In my mind, I wish I, I I feel like it's number four, but I think if I say four, I'm wrong. I know Peace Walker and Snake Eater were both Big Boss. This is the final bridging of the gap. This is Big Boss uh, building up his army, and when this game I heard when this game ends, that's where Metal Gear, the Nintendo game, takes over, and that's where you play as Solid Snake, his genetic son, or his genetically cloned son, which looks exactly like him. Um, so chronologically, this is in the middle of the story, uh, the storylines. I love Metal Gear Solid. I always have. It's one of my favorite PlayStation series. So when 5 came out, this is the last Metal Gear Solid game that is going to be made by Kojima. Does this mean Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear in general is going to disappear? I say give it 5, 10 years. I have a feeling it'll show up somewhere again. Somehow. Because demand. But just in case it is the last game, I wanted to make sure I got the collector's edition. I will say this though, just like with all games, guys, be very careful what collector's editions you choose to or not to buy. I have been burned by many. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I've loved all of the collector's editions I've um, chosen to buy. Um, Medal of, not Medal of Honor, well, I'm so old. Um, Call of Duty. Some of them I kind of regretted um, getting collector's editions of. The Dead Space 2 collector's edition I was very disappointed with because it was a very scaled down... Um, it was the gun from the, um, the... What do you call it? Dead Space series. This is a half-scaled model of the hand that, that Snake is now. Again, it's a nice thing that you could display on your shelves, you know, you got the rock and roll thing that we always keep the hand in, so, and it's nice for a background when we do the recap. Uh, that part goes in. Thank you, Michael. Much better. But, um, it'll be a nice background piece for the recap show, but other than that, there's really no, I mean, if you're looking for a legit replica, unless they make it and they sell it outside the game, don't, don't look for that when it comes to collector's edition games. Uh, they usually scale things down a lot unless they make statues. Then then you know it's legit. Uh, the Batman games have really nice collector's editions, I will say that. Except the first one with the Batarang, that one was a little... You guys saw the review. I did the review on here. Um, I really liked it, but then when I saw what they did in the later on games, I was like, geez, 
I should have waited and got those collector's editions more than this one, the first one, but eh, you live and learn. So with that, that's it for this haul, guys. Look forward to week 306's intro. I don't know, a lot of people are asking why I do the intros. I like it. It's a nice opening to the week. Will I always do it? Maybe, maybe not. It really depends. Um, I enjoy doing a little bit of a here we go. But the weekly comic book call is also a nice intro. And I guess because we're running late this week, and that is largely due to the fact that the comics uh, came a day late. Um, we're going to jump into some reviews right away very soon. Uh, starting this week, and I'm going to try to get all of these reviews up by the end of the weekend or at least by Monday, Tuesday, is because by Wednesday we're going to be starting the indie books because uh, we already have a lot of them. Um, we read a lot of our indie stuff, as you guys know, digitally, so we're going to try to get those reviews out um, as soon as it's Wednesday. And then when the physical comics come, we'll just move forward with the rest of the physical books. The schedule was just really thrown off this week with all the reviews from two weeks ago on Friday. These books we're going to try to get out by the end of the weekend, so at least they're out. And, um, yeah, we'll move forward from there. The live show, it's up in the air right now. I'm working on some other ideas. I want to keep the live show because I love talking with you guys, but the problem is I cannot access the comments anymore without completely freezing out my computer almost to nothing. What I can do is have either Michael or somebody watching it through a computer or somewhere and checking the comments there and reading it to me, or I don't know, I'll have to figure... Uh, some method out. Once I figure a good method of finding or getting comments, uh, I'll continue the live shows again. But I hate doing a live show and not being able to answer comments. Uh, that was the whole point of the live shows, and that's kind of why I'm waiting on them. I really want things to fix. I used to use my Nook. The Nook does not publish the comments anymore, so I can't see them on the Nook. I would have to log in to YouTube on the Nook, and it slows everything down, and reloading it to see new comments was a terror the last time we did it so uh, just bear with us a little bit longer we're going to find a method out and the live show should be back soon till then guys feel free to click any of the links below to things that are connected to this channel got a lot of things connected to this channel comicfrontline.com zone4podcast.com frontline gaming zone lots of really great things in lots of different places uh, until then guys look forward to the intro to week two, uh, 306 You'll be coming right after this video, and I will see you guys really soon in the next group of reviews.